be good because that's just a 165, man. Uh huh. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Have you met Miss Jones? Yeah. It's a, it's a real simple structure, man. It's just a, like a lot of the old standard 165. We're in the key of F. Yeah, it'd be F major, D minor, G minor, and C. And then, okay, so it's F. Now where should I go? Back to F. Okay. D minor. G, D, C. Same thing again. Okay. That's the verse. Okay. Da 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 just a cycle of fours from B flat, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, D flat, to E minor, A, D major, da 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 da, A flat minor to D seven, D flat seven to F sharp, F sharp major seven, and then up to two five back in F. One, do 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 six. So what we're looking at is chord melody now. Chord you're melody. Combining the two elements on one guitar, right? Yeah, and usually when you do chord melody, your melody is on top. Mm -hmm. Got your chord line, the type of chord it is in the middle, and a bass line. Mm. Those, those, I think those are the three main parts of doing chord melody. Because mm -hmm. that way you get the melody, and you get the, the type of chord it is, mm -hmm. and a bass line. So you're really playing three different parts all at once, the melody, yeah. the inner chords, and the bass part. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the whole trick of being a good, good, good guitar player is being able to do all three of those at once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So does the My melody goodness. give you your direction then, I guess, on how you're going to voice these? Well, first of all, you gotta, you got to put your chord voicing where the, your melody notes are. Yeah. So that means you can't, if, you, if you're comping chords, this would be cool. You know, but, but mm -hmm. doing melody, your note is either up here, so you're going to either have to go into a five, five fret, or change form. And I, I, I chose to do it this way so I could get, get the melody flowing a certain way. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, everything's... Okay, so the melody... So you go to the A form... Major seven, and I, I like the fifth in the bass. I had okay, couple, now you're adding the bass. I notes. had a couple of little bass lines in there. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I've always heard the guitar as a as a, an orchestra. Mm. That means when you're playing stuff, you got chords, you got melody, you got bass, you got how do you phrase it that uh, counterpoint yeah the, the uh -huh. voicing you're using man mm -hmm. that one. you could play it straight like first time through so people can recognize what you're playing mm. and then uh, if you want to improvise you can improvise in the chord line like if you didn't want to do that you go Doing the same thing is going down. See? Yeah. So in, in your mind, if you kick in the bass line, you know? Mm -hmm. So if you separate those parts while you're playing, you can go back and forth between the, the three of them, mm -hmm. create some uh, interesting things out of it. Thank you. 